Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habatifillah the third principle that was mentioned is that or the second principle that was mentioned is al-adl mal muwafiq wal mukhalaf very important is justice with those who agree with you and those who disagree with you this is imperative and this is a sifat of ahl sunnati wal jama'ah and when you are refuting someone that you should be just you should not lie and this is taken from the statement or many statements of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah but from amongst them is this statement Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah says وَمَعْلُومْ أَنَا إِذَا تَكَلَّمْنَا فِي مَنْ هُوَ دُونِ الصَّحَابَةِ رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين مثل الملوك المختلفين على ملك والعلماء ومشايخ المختلفين في العلم والدين وجب أن يكون الكلام بالعلم وعدل لا بجهل وظلم فإن العدل واجب واجب لكل أحد على كل أحد في كل حال وظلم محرم مطلقا لا يبيح لا يباح قط بحال That is a powerful statement and so we're going to leave this قاعدة very it's very clear with Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah and it doesn't take and I, I just want us to actually I just hope we can actually practice some of these principles and understand that this is this is from the religion so if you just take these small principles sometimes you can see through so many a sea of issues issues come up should we talk about this one should we curse this one should we lie about this one if you take this principle you know the answer to all those masail and you don't have to get involved in it listen to what Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said he said وَمَعْلُونَ he said and it's known that if I spoke about someone, meaning this is the books of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he's telling you about what he wrote. He says it's well known that if, if we have spoken about uh, someone other than the Sahaba, for example, a king from amongst the kings, from, uh, from amongst the different kings, or, uh, or scholars, ulama and mashayikh, so he mentioned ulama and mashayikh, you know, these alams, big major scholars and other and, and my, minor scholars that differ with regards to their level of knowledge in deen then it's an obligation that our speech is with elm is based knowledge based not on one oh i heard he said this i heard he said this i heard he's doing this in philly i heard he's doing this in birmingham i heard he's doing this in cardiff i heard he's doing this in croydon okay it's not just hearsay but yet, it's based. So he said, "And yakuna bil elmu adl." He said, "It's with. It's based upon knowledge and justice. That if that. It, so he said, it's an obligation when you speak about someone that you have knowledge of what you're speaking about. You know, and knowledge about their their mistakes, of course, and that you're just. You have to be just. So your intention should be to please Allah, not to be." And, and to make yourself bigger and make your group bigger, make your partners think you're cool, make it, oh, mashallah, he did a nice ref refutation of so-and-so. I love him. Not to, to gain uh, position with the people, but rather it should be based on justice, being, uh, 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 speaking the truth only, and being just with the individual. He said, la bi jahl, not based upon ignorance or oppression. He said, for verily, justice is an obligation with everyone. And it's an obligation on everyone. So it's an obligation to be just with everyone when you deal with any person. And it's an obligation upon you to be just in general for all of us. We're all, it's an obligation upon us to be just. And he said, Fi kulli hal. Under all circumstances, you have to be just. There's no exceptions. And he said, And oppression is muharram mutlaq. He said that being oppressive towards somebody, somebody is totally haram under all circumstances. Mukluqin. And he said it is not permissible at any time. So I don't think we need to even go into that in depth. We can think of so many issues, but I think it's very clear. Be just when you speak about someone and don't be oppressive. If you're going to refute someone that from the refutations of Ahl al they're going to talk about, they're not going to talk about the individual's 
uh, in, in a way that's um, in a, uh, a, a way to slander. They're not going to speak lies about them. And they're not there to destroy their character, but rather the intent is to warn the community and the intent is to refute the mistake as well. To warn the community and refute the mistake if they have a bit that's going around or a new ideology, a new menhaj. And you want to be just with them. You don't want to go beyond the borders. Instead, you want to talk about the issue. So-and-so said here and why this is a mistake and don't read into their intention based on your desires. But you have to look in the context of what they're saying. Don't cut and paste. That's unjust. And that's also another mistake that we see, which is common in many of the refutations that are out there. People just cut and paste. They literally would take a clip. Now with videos, they cut and paste. And, and audio recordings. He said this, and then that's the end. But they don't tell you the next statement he said before that, and the statement he says after that, and the statement he said before that. They don't tell you. They don't tell you that all of his other tapes let us know what he's talking about, what he meant there. But instead, they go with their own desires and they only put a negative meaning on it. This is very important. And there's so many statements of Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah where he, he mentions. And then he mentions some issues. First and foremost, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, Ya ayu al-ladhina amanu kunu qawamina lillahi wa shuhada bil-qist wala yajri wala yajri يجري منكم شأن 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 قوم على على تعدلوا اعدلوا هو أقرب للتقوى واتقوا الله إن الله خبير بما تعملون. Allah subhanahu wa taala says in Surah Al-Maida, addressing the believers, O you who believe, be witnesses for Allah. With justice, you have to be just. He orders us with justice. And, you know, do not, uh, you know, be unjust and make out others to be criminals. And and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us with justice. Ala ta'dilu, i'dilu huwa aqrab li taqwa. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands you with justice. And he says, it is closer to taqwa, being just. Uh, and he says, and fear Allah, verily Allah, is all aware of what you do. If we take that ayat, we understand it and we practice it, then we'll be fearing Allah and we'll be cautious about how we speak about other individuals. Are we speaking with justice? Are we oppressing them? Those kind of questions will be answered for us or we'll have some sort of barometer, some sort of meter, some sort of scale to be able to measure those things and to be able to keep ourselves in check so that way we speak with justice and we deal with people justly. And some of the issues that are mentioned in Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah's book, Minhaj al-Sunnah, with regards to this principle, first is that Qubul al-Haq fi kulli man qalahu bi nadr an ittijahihi al aqidi o al madhabi. Whoa, that's heavy. Sheikh Islam, uh, so one of the principles taken from his book is that we accept the truth from anyone who says it with regard, with, uh, regardless of their status, their aqidah, or their madhab. I can't say, oh, Hanafi says this is the opinion of the Hanafiya. This is even this is the if the uh, 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 if an Ashari has a, a correct view on an issue, meaning it's a muafiq al haq what he's saying is is true about the Book of Allah and the Son of the Messenger of Allah. I have to take that. I can't say, well, I know a Salafi Sheikh or a Salafi who made a mistake in this issue, and I'm going to take his position because he's Salafi. No, you're going to take the position because it's the haq That's it. So that's the the khalasa to call here is that we take the truth wherever it comes from. We have to. That's Islam. Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah then mentioned he, a statement to back this up. He says, وَقَوْلَ الْحَقَّ الَّذِي يُقُومُ عَلَيْهِ يَدْلِيلِ يُقْبَلْ مِنْ كُلِّ مَنْ قَالَهُ وَإِنْ لَمْ يُقْبَلْ بِمُجَرِّدْ الْمُخْبِرْ بِهِ Beautiful. 
Sheikh Islam Ibn Taymiyyah says, and a statement of the truth, which is built upon evidence, built upon the Dalil, uh, is accepted by anyone who says it. And this is, even if it is not accepted, that this individual is a person of truth. You know, so meaning that if the person was a person of Ahl Bid'ah in general, you're not listening to them. You don't want to hear what they have to say. But if a person of Ahl Bid'ah does say something and it's correct, we have to accept it. You can't reject it just because of that individual. Because you know that individual is a Mubtadi'ah and makes mistakes in other issues or has made a severe mistake in some other issue, but they're in agreement with the truth in other issues. You have to accept the truth from wherever it comes. Sheikh Islam mentions extensively some other uh, about some of the other groups clarifying that for us which is not uh, necessary for us to get too in depth and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil